the game everybody marks on their calendar each year, Carmel Center Grove, the battle for the Copper Kettle. This is the Heidelberger All-State Insurance Agency pregame show. And, Coach, before we jump into Carmel, it would be remiss if we didn't mention Warren Central last week. First time uh, that you've ever shut them out, but only the second time any program shut out Warren Central since 1999. So, you know, I'm sure there's things that you got to correct, but that's a heck of accomplishment. Well, I, our defense did such a great job of, uh, like we talked about last week, get them on the ground. We tackled well. We got them on the ground. We didn't let anything get behind us. Uh, secondary did a great job. Uh, they completed some balls, but they're all in front. We come up and we made tackles. But again, when, the, when, when those linebackers and those DBs can come up and make tackles and, and guys that gain three yards and that's all, that's, that's huge. But when they gain three and then they fall forward for four more, now you're at second and three, and it's the easiest call in football. So uh, I just appreciate Chad Daniels, our defensive coordinator, our host staff, and how hard they worked on that game plan of, of shutting uh, Warren Central down. Uh, because, you know, they had kids that could still beat you or tie you in one play. And, uh, and special teams were, were big, too, on the defensive side. We, we, we went up and we made tackles on special teams, and uh, we never let them flip the field on us. So that, I'm just awfully proud of the defense. They deserve the, the shutout, the goose egg. Uh, usually we just worry about winning, and whatever happens, happens. You know, we don't concentrate on that a lot, but that was big for us to get that shutout. You look at Carmel, they come in here one and one. They had a tough defeat against Cathedral last week, and not to take anything away from the Irish, but Carmel's a very good football team. Uh, they did make some mistakes that they don't normally make, and what can we expect for them tomorrow night? Well, for whatever reason, when, when it's Center Grove, Car uh, Center Grove Carmel game, they just don't make mistakes. They don't throw interceptions, they don't fumble the ball. And when they tackle, they get you on the ground. And that's what we talk about so much, about getting guys on the ground. They do an excellent job. Uh, they may not have a stat sheet that long, but they, they really get after you and get you on the ground. Their defensive line is really really uh, mobile and effective. Their linebackers are always big and strong. Uh, as for an offense goes, uh, they have a good offense. Uh, I, I don't, you know, it, it's too early to tell who's great and who's just good. But, I, but they'll come out, and I'm going to tell you what, Carmel's going to run the football and see if we're tough as we think we are up front. And I hope we can match. They're off. They're, they have a great offensive line. Their offensive line is huge, and uh, you know our speed against their sides. It's going to be you know something's going to happen. So uh, hopefully we can stay you know uh, our technique can stay well, and we can continue to shut the run down because if we shut the run down and they have to throw, that's a different story. That's when we can go get people. But when they can just open the field up and run some, and then throw play action and kill us, and uh, sort of that's what happened to them. Uh, Cathedral broke three or four big plays on them on play action stuff. Uh, and didn't really drive the ball up and down the field every single time. So uh, Carmel's a good football team. Don't don't get don't get caught sleeping on on, on the Greyhounds because they're uh, they're worth it. They're in the mick. They play great teams, uh, and they and you know they're used to this. They're used to being behind the eight ball a little bit. We just got to jump out on them and get them down and, and and hopefully make them feel like oh wow not another night like this. We talked a lot about this summer getting prepared and not knowing if we were going to have a season. And it feels like the offense is still maybe a little bit behind the, the, the defense. And, and is that just not having the time to prepare, having a lot of new people up front? And and I know we put in some different looks on offense that, that it seemed like last week in the second half we started picking up the run a little bit more straight north and south. And, and do you expect more of that this week? Yeah, you know, offensive football is, is a combination. It's like a dance team. Everybody's got to be right. Everybody's got to step correct. When one guy makes a mistake, then that causes the play to fail. And it's hard to get consecutive plays in a row in high school for of guys doing the, the correct thing. Uh, I thought we got a little better at practice this week. I thought we got a little better last week in the second half against good defenses. We've we've played against good defenses this year, so, uh, you know, but we are a little behind on offense probably. Uh, it, it, you know, getting set for the speed of the game sometimes hurts us. We do got some young kids we're playing up there. Uh, we got, But again, we got great skill kids. We got great skill quarterback, great receivers, great running backs. And we just got to get the offensive line caught up with them, and they will. You know, we got we got our senior our Carter DeGraff probably had his best week of practice. Uh, big Sam Burris, our tackle, had a great week of practice, and I have a great feeling that I think we're we're going to have an outstanding game. Well, I know this. The first two weeks we played a lot of athleticism, guys that could run all over the field, and, and Carmel always comes in, and, and not only do they have a lot of size, they have a lot of people that can run, and it should be another great Copper Kettle game. We wish you all the luck. 
Well, thanks. And you know, the thing with Carmel, they're like that wounded dog. They're coming in here, they have no pressure now. Everybody's throwing them out the door. No one thinks they're any good. And that's the, that's the worst time to get a team because a, a Carmel football team is always going to be well coached and well prepared, and they won't beat themselves. So we're going to have to play an excellent football game, just like we're, we are the next eight, 10 weeks. You know, you got to play great football in our conference to stay alive. But, it, but I hope everybody can come out and see the 25th. 25th version of the copper kettle game and uh, it's time for this to for the Trojans to get that kettle back go Trojans